day. We understand the concept of preaching. We speak with our mouths and people listen with their ears. It is visual and oral. We understand that those things, hallelujah, hallelujah, people who live in the physical world, what do we do through with the authority what we have been given in the spiritual realm? All right. Do you operate in the spirit realm or only in the physical realm? All right. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 2, 4 and 5, the apostle Paul said that he also preached the good news, yeah. but his preaching was not centered around wise and persuasive, persuasive words. Uh -huh. Rather, it demonstrated the spirit power in his messages. Right. He recognized that transformation happens when we communicate by spirit to people's spirit. Yeah. It's not simple elegance that we bring life change. Mm -hmm. Demonstrating spiritual authority will bring great change yes. into people's spirits, Amen. which will then manifest in their physical lives. Yes. Jesus wants to train us in walking with spiritual authority. Yes. This is what he trained his disciples in and what he imparts to us now. Yes. Do you remember what Jesus said to his disciples just before ascending into heaven? He said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Yes. Therefore, you go and make disciples of all nations. Yes. Matthew 28, 18 and 19 reads, Jesus has all authority granted to him yes. by the Father. Mm -hmm. He shares his authority with us so that we can go and make disciples of all nations. Yes. Yes. Jesus doesn't first and foremost give us courage or a pep talk. He gives us authority. Yes. So how do we walk in spiritual authority? All right. Remember your position. Yes. Ephesians 2 and 6 says, and has raised us up together yes. and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Amen. According to God, where are you? We have been raised with Jesus and are seated with him in the heavenly places. This position of being seated is a position of authority. Amen. The Bible says in Colossians 1 and 16, but for by him were all things created, right. things that are in heaven and that are in earth. Visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principality or powers, all things were created by him and for him. Amen. Jesus created not only the physical realm, but he also the spiritual realm. Both are real. Yes. Therefore, we need to operate in both realms. Yes. It is in this very real spiritual realm that you are seated on the throne and anointed with authority. Amen. When you activate your authority in this realm, you will see the implication in the physical realm. Yeah. We are reminded in Ephesians 6 and 12, for we wrestle, hallelujah, not against flesh and blood, yes. but against principalities, yes. against powers, yes. against the ruler of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness and high places. It would take spiritual authority, yes. not aggressive physical authority, yes. to deal with the spiritual failed forces of evil around you. Yes. The spiritual authority we have is full of divine power yes. to demolish strongholds. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm talking Amen. about the power of God. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Second Corinthians 10, 3 and 4 reads, for though we walk in the flesh, right. we do not war after the flesh. Right. For the weapons of our warfare are, are not carnal, but mighty, hallelujah, to God to the pulling down of the stronghold. Amen, amen. When spiritual strongholds have been demolished, you quickly, hallelujah, see a turnaround in your physical situation. Yes. See, we have to open our spirit. And I'm talking about our spiritual eyes. Yes. But the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 4 and 18, mm -hmm. while we look not at the things which are seen, mm -hmm. but at the things which are not, not seen. seen. For the mm -hmm. things which are seen are temporal, right. but the yes. things which are not seen are eternal. Yes. Yes. Activate our spirit. Yes. Ask God how to pray. Yes. For the prayer of a righteous man is powerful yes. and effective. Yes. For the Bible James 5 and 16, uh -huh. the effectual prayer of a righteous man, a God as much glory to God. Amen. In these moments of intercessory prayer, we are activating our authority.
authority. But the Bible says in James 4 and 7, resist the devil. The Bible says in Ephesians 5 and 19, sing spiritual songs. But the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 10, 3 through 5, take your thoughts captive. But the Bible says in Matthew 6 and 10, let your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Yes. Amen. Speak out with authority. Yes. Speak out with authority. When the devil come against you, speak with authority. Yes. 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 In the name of Jesus. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. It's the work in the name of Jesus yes. that give us authority yes. over the enemy, the devil. Yes. We need to know how to use that authority yes. in the way that God intended it. Yes. Amen. Uh, yes. But the Bible says in Matthew 18, mm -hmm. if we want to be useful in the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. we have to got to learn how to trust and believe just like the children do. Yes. He wants to be able to speak to us and we believe, hallelujah. Yes. And we obey what God is yes. telling us to do. Yes. And we need to believe in the name of Jesus. Yes. For that is the power of our salvation. Yes. We need to believe in the name of Jesus. Yes. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess yes. that he is Lord. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Because when we believe in the name of Jesus, yes. that's about Let's go. 
high in prayer, this is your time. Glory to God. Well, we know that our God is able. We know that our God is able and more than capable. We know that our God is able to do all things. Hallelujah. So if you desire prayer, this is your time.
God is able. Whatever your situation may be, amen. But we thank God for the word on today. Hallelujah. We thank him for the vessel that he used on today. Reminding us and letting us know we need to walk in our authority. Hallelujah. We need to walk in our authority. Use the power that he gave us. Use the power that he gave us. That's 
Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and unto his son, saying, On this wise shall ye bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his fight shine upon thee. 